Well, it is 301, so we start. So the, the thank you for coming to this talk. <laughs> um, the speaker is Alejandro, and the topic is interacting particle systems with mobility and demographic dynamics as biological models. Go ahead. Thanks. Hello to everyone. My name is Alejandro and Jose Tobias. This is my work made with Tobias and Cristobal. And let's start. This presentation will be two different main parts. The first part is made with the, fir the first work that is published last year. That's this work will, have, will be a, a brief introduction, explanation with the model and make algorithm that First of all, we explain the demographic dynamics and the algorithm, the main results from passive particles and attic particles, and brief summary. And later on, to finally, we will explain the work that I'm making now. There are two ongoing works. First of all, a binary mixture and again, theoretical interaction. Let's start with the third work. Okay. The first word is focused on passive and antimatter that this, this, this kind of work has been intensely investigated last decade, partly to this many applications to learning systems like local birds, fish schools, or bar swimming on cancer cells, among others. This work is focused on active brown particles, brown particles, roughly speaking, particles that move randomly, and active if the particles um, produce a, mod a motion. Okay, we include a volume exclusion. It means that the particles have size, have a fixed size. And the novelty on our work is that we include the demographic dynamics that it means that the particles can, can reproduce or die. Okay, what we used to do is, what we used to do, we used to do the structural phase of the systems restricted when birds are larger than their than deaths because in dollar no no the 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 volume is fixed the party have uh, no, size like, what the other one? like uh, what, what do you what the other I don't know. The, 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 this is made for other people. The novelty is this that we include demographic dynamics. The other people have done with this with volume exclusion, with the 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 size of the particle is fixed. Okay, but okay. So there's also one part. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Like, yes. Fixed size. Okay. Yeah, other other part is point particle that have no size. In our on our world have size. It is fixed. And our, our main our main deal is that particles don't overlapping about them. Okay, and and why to study this to create a minimal model to try to describe a spatial order the describe spatial ordering. For example, the big microorganisms like the effect of size, movement, stochastic or stochastic population. Also, at quantity levels can provide for the insight to phenomena such as wood healing or tissue formation. The question that we try to, to answer are, does the demographic dynamic determine the spatial distribution of these particles and how? And what is the interplay between self propulsion that, it, that is related with the activity and population dynamic concerning to the consisting of phases? This is better explained later. Okay, first of all, the model, we studied the Langevin equation, that the Langevin equation had 15 parts. First of all, the hard core, that is the, the size of the particle, that is modulated with Alenar-Jones. 
that we re restate with the part, with the repulsive part. The second part is the Brownian motion, uh, the Brownian part, that is the, because the, for this is our Brownian particles, this proves a random motion. And the last part are the cell propulsion, that in case of passive Brownian particle is zero, and from the case of active particles, is different from zero. Okay, first of all, we, pro we focus on passive Brownian particles, then we do it this part. And, and the other part is, one part is the uh, Langevin equation, and the other part is the demographic dynamics, that the particles can reproduce with the rate beta or die with the rate gamma. How is produced these events? Among when, when, when event is produced, we choose one particle at random. For example, in this case, we, we choose this and check all the surroundings if the one particle can be placed there. If it's green, if that the, the, the newborn particles cannot be placed there because there are another particle and this overlapping, and if it's blue, the particles can be placed there. Okay, among the available place, we choose one at random. And the chosen one is, is where the, new part, the newborn particles will be placed. In the other case that the system is very full of particles and there are no places to, to, to place a newborn particle, no place in any one particle more. And the, the simulation continues. Okay. Then in our work, I would say we combine these two parts and we say it's a single program particle that interacting to a potential that detect all the time and these particles undergo a birth death dynamics. Go we'll see a movie, how, for example, the particles move, they reproduce, and due to this reproduction, they fill all the systems. Okay, how we say we, we combine the Langevin equation and the, and the dynamics dynamics is modulated by a GLSP algorithm. Okay, then well, our, our main results is what obtain is that, okay, Birth of occurs, how we say, only when is, there is empty space. And the number of particles and grows until fill, fill the system, how we see, we see in the movie. And all results that we obtain is that depending on the birth rate, the number of particles is different. When we choose higher birth rate, the number of particles is higher. Okay. Then another different result that we obtain is that depending on this birth rate, we obtain that depending on this birth rate, the number of particles is different. And, and for this, the, the phase is different from a low birth rate. We obtain that this, the uh, system is in a liquid phase. And if, if it's sufficiently larger, we are in the solid phase. In, uh, with difference with the with the, um, uh, an equilibrium where then in the case of we are not, we, we, we not have demographic events and the number of the no, and we choose the number of particles, the number of particles determine the phase, but in our case, the number of particles is determined by the, by the rates. Okay. In our case, we see that this is in a solid phase, but we can, we can think, okay, but we see a lot of holes Okay, this is proved by because the particles can die, but the hole will fill quickly. And here we plot the Voronoi, the Voronoi, uh, the Voronoi tessellation. And here we see that if it's green, that the number of particles is six, that it is perfect. And if, it, if it's greater or less, it's blue or red, that it means that are defects. That they are not in a perfect solid. The perfect solid, all, all the particles have six neighbors. That means we can see there, each particle has six neighbors. That is a triangular, triangular. Okay, continue. Is, is related that in, in liquid there are very there are a lot of space and the the particles are who in a normal how you say normal liquid there are a lot of space and the particles can move in a, in a solid are, are packed they are packed and they are rigid. But it's, okay, but, okay. but it's not like there are not there are not more uh, 
more similarity, right? It's just that you gave these feelings to. Is so this, I, mean, I, I see that there are some similarities, but do the similarities go further? When you you see a solid in a solid in a in a telescope, you see that the molecules are crystallized. In the, in the crystallized, you see this, and this is called solid. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But, 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 they are almost like, they are almost materials, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah these are one criteria saying the structure of phase. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what is the second? Ah, well, in okay, in the case, it, the liquid where there are a lot of space. Well, it's yeah, and this order solid are order that how we say that is perfect. In, we normally say crystal, and in the middle is case a static that is long, long range uh, order, no, long, long range order, but is there are a lot of defects. Okay, here we go through the phase diagram, how we say beta. So to remember beta burst rate and delta death rate. Okay, when burst rate is less than the death rate, there are no particles because more death than burst, it means that the particles go to zero, the number of particles. When we really increase, we're in the liquid phase. And we, when the birth rate is very large compared to the death rate, we are in solid phase. In the middle, we have the static phase. That is this phase. Okay, in the solid, we have long, launch range uh, order. And in the liquid, there are short range that order means that you can you, you can go a line between one point from another point. That it means you want a perfect crystal, they are a perfect line. Here, the order is destruct, and in this case, the, we have a little bit order. And this is called the static phase. Okay. Here we go through the percentage of defects. The birth rate, the defects in front of the birth rate, and how we see that. Okay, if we fix the delta, that is the death rate, and increase the birth rate, how we say from liquid to, to solid, we see clearly how the number of defects decrease. And in the static phase, the decrease is sharp, is rather sharp. And in you know, different with the PVP means passive brown particle and active brown particles. In our case, we think that these, these transitions come from 10, 20 percent of defects. In a case of standards, I mean, in the case where the, we are not demographic, we, we choose the number of particles and they fix. In these cases, the, these are around 5%. It means that in our case, due to the demographic events, the number of defects are higher. Okay. Then, all the thing before is from for passive brain particles. Now we are going to explain the result from active particles. Active particles means that these particles have a force that we have a fixed model and a direction, and the direction changes over time. Okay. What we obtain is that depending on the cell propulsion, the number of particles depend, depends on the, the particle variety. I mean, how we say for a high cell proportion, the number of particles is higher than from low cell proportion. In this case, we plot the packing fraction, it means the fraction of the space that is filled of particles. One means that the, the, there are no space. Why we have more than one? Because due to this cell proportion, this proportion produces that the particle overlap. We, we, because we have to create the size. We, we made with a Lenardian potential, but th this is no perfect line. Then this proportion claims to the potential. And the, for the reason, the party overlapping and the pack inflation is greater than one. Then, how we say, depending on the set proportion, the number of particles, right. Okay, and 
the what, other time that we obtain are myths. Myths means motility induced phase separation. What means phase separation? That we have two phases. One one phase that is more dilute and more of other phase that is more dense. You can see, clearly see in this movie. Okay, you can see the, the particles begin to reproduce and at a time I'm not working. Uh, I have to wait a little bit. They begin to reproduce. And a large time, the, we will see that in one time we see that we have two faces, one more dense than another. We see clearly see one. In this case, the for for, for reach this, the activity has to be very large. And in this case, we see that the particles begin to create dense faces and to and how we can study this? This is clearly see with in this PDF that I, the the function that we see two peaks. The peaks represents the the packing fraction. The well, we see more dense phase and more dilute phase. And here we see that when this function has two peaks, this this means that a lot of particles are in in this packing fraction. That means very dilute phase and another a lot of particles in a large the phase, we see the MIP. Okay, let's continue. Okay, we have, in this case, we have the birth rate, when well, we have less the other rate, it's only to normalize, and the cell propulsion. And we have the liquid phase, the solid phase, the static, and the MIP region that is this called now. But with the new, what we obtain is that another attractive phase appear here, that in another case, we saw the demographic events and changing the number of particles did, did not happen. Why did this produce? Well, because in our case, what we see for reach the MIPS, we need a high velocity and the particle overlap, uh, uh, reach more than phase and another that dilute. And in our case, what it means that is that if when it's the phase is dilute, it's, they have a lot of space. And in our model, a lot of space means that the particles can reproduce. Then in this case, when the when these particles uh, create MIPS and the dilute, dilute phase reproduce, this field, this free space, and create that come back from the liquid to a static phase. That it means in other, in other case, when the particle number of is fixed, we have a lot of particles in a dense phase and a lot of particles in a dilute phase, but no, nothing happens. But in our case, this dilute phase can reproduce and fill the free space. And for the reason, we come back to the static phase. Okay. The, and to summarize this first work, we have obtained that when beers of the minute over there, the choice of this parameter will determine the dual phase. For active particle, also has a proper proportion that might define number of particles. In general, due to the graphic number of defects is larger than the standard one. Standard means without demographic, which we, we, we re change the number of particles. And in our case, from large activity in the active brain particles, the static phase dominates referring to the greater presence of defects due to the combining to the demographic events. I mean that we say in the in this case, due to the space of create this create more particles and we come back to the static phase and this word published there and this is the the first word that is published then do i want to explain the words that is ongoing the first of all is a binary binary mixture that what it means we have two types of particles they are identical I mean 
you have one is bigger than other, but the parameters are the same. And we will put in a simulation with the same with the same parameter and the same, the, the smaller one wins because the bigger ones due to the high size have less survival uh, to the system. And in a large time, all the green particles will disappear because to reproduce need more space than red. And if you have a small, pay, a small space, the red will reproduce faster than green. And in a large time, all the green disappears. Okay, how we can reach a coexistence then changing the different parameters. The first that we can solve is change the birth rate. Okay, we have a birth rate from the uh, smaller particles like red and birth rate from the green particles. Okay, if, if we know if it's equal, the red one wins. But if the birth rate of these green ones are bigger, what happens? Okay, we see this that depending on the birth rate, we can see red, the, the red part, this is the fraction of red particles. That means when it's one, it's dominated by red, when it's zero, it's dominated by green, and in between are coexistence. Then we see that we reach, we reach a part with the coexistence. Also, we can change the diffusion that is better explained later, or the cell propulsion that is the, the activity. Okay, we focus first of all on the different build rate. Okay, we fix, if we fix the, the birth rate of the smaller particles, this from the smaller and the big one, for, uh, we fix the smaller particle and change the big one, what we obtain is this, thus changing the, increasing the bigger one, going vertically, we go from only we have red particles from coexistence until we have uh, only green particles. And as natural that we obtain it from in this case, we have this, that a lot of red and uh, have a little bit of green. And in this case, that is more or less 50, 50, we have more than half of the system is green and red. And in the other case, almost all the system are green. Okay, what, we, what happens if we change the diffusion coefficient? We say the same. We hope if we fix the diffusion of the smaller one and change the bigger one. What we obtain is a little similar. I mean, we get the only green increasing coexistence um, and green ones. In this case, we have this. And we increase the, the diffusion of the bigger ones. We have the, the bigger ones dominate. And we still increase. We see that. The, the green ones dominate more. A difference with the other case, we see that in this case, don't see uh, that larger don't means domination. Okay, B uh, before to explain self-propulsion, self well, on, when another important thing bet between the diffusion and self-propulsion, it means that when self-propulsion is, is, is smaller, can, can be tracted like a diffusion. For the reason, more or less, this diagram and this part of the diagram, when both are smaller, are similar. How to see, they, in this case, when both are smaller, are similar, and we see that one dif main difference in that case on the diffusion, we can see that this, this kind of System are more segregated. I mean, red are with red and green are with green. But in case of cell propulsion, it's not in this case that how this is the persistent of, of, of the activity, the particle move around on the system and they are not so segregated than this. Okay, we focus on cell propulsion. So we say we have when in medium velocity, we have how is what you see. But an important and novel thing that we obtain is that when we increase the velocity, the velocity of the smaller ones, obtain this part that we are studying, we are under study, that we think that in a, the number of the packing fraction almost fits among all the values of the bigger ones, but in this part, something happens where this understudy that when we, in this case, we see that 
the particles are almost green and have a lot of red. And in the plot, if we still increase, the system is filled of greens. I, I mean, when the smaller ones and the bigger ones are large, theoretically the, the green ones have less survival, but no, in the, our case, the green ones dominate the full system. We can see here a movie. See how to improve the one. So we see in a large time is fully dominated by Oh, he's sorry. And uh, that we obtain. Okay. And the last, and this is another word that is also ongoing, is game theoretical interaction. Okay, we remove all of what is plain. And what we have in this case, we have identical particles. That it means particles that have the same size, the same mobility, but that it means are identical, but we tag some particles with A and some particles with B, but are identical. All we have, we have a tag that is A or B. And the birth rate change depending on the, which particle are in the surroundings. I mean, to explain this, okay, we have, we see this function that this function, it means go from B0 to B0, to B0 means B1 to be zero plus be one, and how we change? It, it depends on this function PA, PA. What means PA? This PA, it depends on which particle. It means, depends on how many particles of type A and how many particles of type B have each particle. They mean, depending on this, this values, this, this means that if this value, for example, to, to, to better explain this, we see, for example, for example, in the case that we have one zero 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 or zero 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 one means that this is one and all this zero, this function, the, the particles A are increasing for a value of beta one if the number of particles or the surrounding are the same type A. It means A wants to, so to explain this, this means A wants to be two with A, it is positive. A wants to be with B. B wants to be with A and B wants to be with B. If it's negative, it is our case. Then in this case, if the orange particle wants to be with orange particle and this is increased by beta one, the, the system is dominated by, by orange, the orange ones. In, we can see in the other case with the blue ones. Okay, but we have, we have make a, a coexistence system between them. For example, we put, this matrix that it means that the orange ones don't win. We want to be the orange ones, but we he wants to be with the blue, and the orange wants to be with the blue, and the blue wants to be to the orange, but the blue wants to be with the blue. It means they has to be one with the same color, but they this function is increasing if the surroundings are of other ones. This means that this means of similarly this means. If we want to be with the same, but others, then it's increasing if the surrounding and the other type. Then we have a mixture and we change, we have a combine and the other string case is the case with, okay, he wants to be with the same type, but he doesn't want to be with the other type of particle, then this makes a separation between the two types of particles. And we can choose different parameters and and play with them. Okay, this is almost what is playing. And thank you for your attention. If someone has a question, are there questions either here in the room or online? Uh,
yeah for the zoom audience so before when you were talking about the particles with different sizes yeah uh, you said that when the big uh, particles increase their speed or the diffusion parameter yeah the dominance change yeah but then if you keep doing it there was like another change like if you could put the yeah, yeah. diagrams again what, what? Well, well, no, 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 I, I push a lot. Well, this. well uh, film next. Another way? The, uh, no, the next one when uh, there's diffusion, for example. Oh, okay, sorry. Yes. Yeah, over there. That there's a change. The the big particles start to dominate, but there's a point that they start like having less density. Why is happening that? Or okay, how is it there? In this in this case, this is produced by this kind of island that is there. When we when we are there, when we increase, what happens is that the particles are more. The diffusion is greater. That the particles move can move more and to search to reproduce to reproduce, and from the reason. This this begin to increase, but my explanation for this is that we we still increase the we we the this uh, this diffusions this high diffusion does produce that that, that the particle moves a lot and the 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 that the first that the I mean how we say the here the particle begin to move and to create free space to reproduce but we still increase this this diffusion this part these particles move move uh we say that i mean this 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 movement produce that the that the, the the free space for, for, I see a row, I draw, I mean, if we have a particle here, a one particle here, a one particle here, and free space, free space here, if a particle move and move, they produce free space in between to create more particles. But if the if this movement is so high, this produce that this particle move here, but and this space is not clearly. To, to fit to reproduce and this free space is is not ne because we create new particle we need we need the the size of this system if they move but it's not move sufficient to to create more space I don't know if you think that. thank you any other questions I think, I think Emilio. Yeah, well, well, yeah, yeah. I'm trying, Emilio. Ah, Hi. Yeah. I have a, I have a, 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 two questions. One, why in the in the last part, why do you call this game theoretical interaction? I mean, I, there is no strategy. There is no change of the. the so you, I, I see some some interaction that depends on the neighbors. Is this any or perhaps there is some relationship of your equation with the replicator equation, or or why do you call this game theoretical? Interaction in the last case. That because we have in coding again, you have two types of particles that one type are I and other are game. So we say that one kind of particles are I, another are bay, and they are uh, they are competition between them depending of the number of particles. I would say. Okay, well, I would call this just a, an interaction between two different types of particles. But anyway, and the, and the other is the. Sorry, no, because you can see there that he called this bottle like interaction, and we didn't like it. So he, we told yesterday Alejandro to change the name to Game Theoretica. Maybe we were also wrong. Okay. <laughs> mm, well, okay. <laughs> That's a question. Of, no, 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 but 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 in, so in evolutionary game theory, this would be so you okay. You play with people with so the idea is that so a game consists of two particles meeting and interacting, and you say 
I meet with all the guys that are near me. And then I, you know, if an A meets an A, they score the points they, they get is FAA. If an A meets a B, the points they get is FAB and so on. So okay. in that sense, pi A and pi B, this is like, if I have that many neighbors, these are the number of points I would get. Now, this, this is why I'm asking if this is uh, related to the replicator equation, because correct, this, correct. there is some relationship. Correct, it's, correct. So okay. in evolutionary game theory, one has a very similar setup. That's why I, so I suggested game theoretical interaction yesterday, so. Yeah. Okay, and the, the second question is uh, the, well, in, if I am, have understood properly, in your, you see that the increase in diffusion, the, in, the, in the case of poly, two types of particles, the, poly, the, the binary mixture of particles, there is uh, the one the, having more diffusion is beneficial for, for um, so the one having more diffusion has some advantage. Is this? Yes. Is, I mean, well, this is, I don't know, you probably have talked with, at least with Cristobal, because we, we worked on, on this some time ago, in which we, we have examples in which the opposite happens. I mean, the, the less, the particle with less, um, with less, uh, um, Diffusion is the one that that uh, that wins, but the, in that case there was a clear pattern formation in the in the case. In here, so my question is: Do you find any type of pattern formation here, or just you have this type of disordered patterns all the time? The, all the time, the alternative, this kind of patterns, uh, this know, this kind of mixtures. Okay. Right. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Anybody else here or online? Well, thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, and, uh, okay, thank you for coming.